Thailand. You view at a contest going on a couple of months ago, and the prize was actually to come here and host one of the segments with me. But I decided that hmm, I actually need someone to be with me all the time today in the Everglades. So we have a winner, and this is Riyad Dinali. Hello, Hello, how are you doing, Jess? How are you doing? <laughs> good. Doing you good. viewers, how you do? Good. So tell me about yourself, Riyad. <laughs> okay, well, my name is uh, Riyad Denali. Mm -hmm. I'm 24 years old, mm -hmm. a resident of Davie, Florida, and I'm yeah. happy to be here at the Everglades today with you. Good. So you submitted a video. Can you tell me about that? Um, yeah, so I submitted a video to your uh, contest about mm -hmm. this guy. His name is Timothy Sternberg. Now, what Timothy does is that um, he is a man who's very much into uh, contests and sweepstakes and has won plenty of them. Plenty of them. Plenty of contests. Like Something I know a little about. Or like prizes? What kind of contests did he win? Um, let's see. He's won um, different cars, trips, like you, you, you name it, he's, he's won it. Maybe we should watch the video. It could, yeah. might go a little, a little more um, in depth Good, perfect. about this guy. Okay, let's yeah. watch that. Feast your eyes on this. They say that everybody loves a winner. Ah! If that's the case, then meet the Rudolph Valentino of winners, Timothy Sternberg from Aventura, Florida. Have you heard of him? No. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not, but you will. You see, Tim is a history major at Florida International University who also works in human resources for an internet dental company. And ever since 1991, he and his wife Erica have been avid sweepers or doers of sweepstakes and contests. What do you find so fascinating about sweepstakes and contests? It's a chance to have overnight success going down up and down the sweepstakes, up and down your Publix and your Winn-Dixies, just seeing those uh, tear pads and saying, wow, they made that contest directly for me. And to be the grand prize winner of that, it's like the ultimate success. His passion for keeping the eye on the prize goes back to his television habits as a little tyke. When I was home from uh, school, I was sick. I used to watch Sale of the Century, and I used to watch The Price is Right, and Wheel of Fortune, and I used to look at those contestants and go, wow, Mommy, they really make $5,000 in a half an hour. I like that line of work. So I wanted to, in the future, when I grew up, I wanted to be a game show contestant. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. He has made that childhood occupation a reality winning over $18,000 on shows like Wheel of Fortune and Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. For a man who has entered in nearly a thousand contests, Tim is unwell for himself, winning everything from the opulence to the obscure. Such as winning over 50 different trips. Most recently in November, we won a trip to Taiwan. We went to Taiwan for seven nights, all expenses paid. In 1997, we won a trip to the Oscars when Titanic was king of the world, so to speak. And uh, that was from Deco Drive, and Deco Drive did a whole feature story on Erica and I. A couple of years ago, we went first class to Paris and London as part of a bullet train promotion. Uh, we've, uh, the Everglade Alligator Farm offer alligator and snake show. That's a lot of reptiles for me. But you know what? Just for you, I am going to sacrifice myself and take a closer look. I am going to meet with Janet. She's a snake specialist. And you know what? I'm gonna ask someone to help me. Rayad, where are you? Rayad, oh, here we go. Right here. How you right here. You? You're gonna do something wow, very yes. fun. Fun? Yes. Goody. Like snake. Let's snake. Go. Yeah, come, come with me. It's gonna be fun. Right. You see? Come. You sure about this? I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know about this. That's why I found the snake. Remember, guys, there's 42 species of snake. No, 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 you're okay. <laughs> Alrighty, we're right now here with uh, Jeanette, the snake lady, yes. <laughs> here at Everglades Park, and she's going to tell us a little bit about uh, the snake she has with us. Uh, well, who is it? This is, is green it? bean. I eat a green bean. Like the vegetable. Yes. And he's a green Burmese python, hmm? which are from Asia. And this one was actually someone's pet, and they couldn't take care of it no any longer. It was so. that long when it was someone's pet? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So we took them in, that way we can house them. Instead of people releasing them into the Everglades, we take them mm -hmm. in. 
and provide them with a home. And then some of them are nice enough that we can use for shows like this one. So right. we use them for shows. Okay. Great. So how many type of snake do you have here in the park? We have a lot. <laughs> um, and they're basically our constrictors. Uh, we mm -hmm. have the retics, the albinos, the bronze. We have some native snakes to Florida, like the Florida king snake, the pine snake, um, red rat snakes, yellow rat snakes, and other exotic snakes as well. But they're all pythons and they're all constrictors. We have no venomous snakes throughout the farm. And what does it eat? Rats. Rats? Okay. Rats. <laughs> rats. Plenty of rats. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. Let's try that. All right. <laughs> Am I supposed to do something specific? Or? You just turn around and I'm going to put them on you. Okay, where did you go? Come right. back! <laughs> they, they want me back, okay! <laughs> okay, well, it's definitely not cold. Like, a lot of people think it's very cold and like... Well, it all depends on the temperature outside. Since okay. it's really hot today, he's gonna be nice and warm. Yeah, he, fe he feels like a wallet. <laughs> oh, this is bad. Oh, wait. <laughs> Good thing he doesn't have ears or else he would... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He don't have ears at all. No, okay. snakes don't have ears. Interesting. So what is the um, longest snake in the world? Good question. The heaviest one? The, well, the longest snake of the world okay, is... Okay, it's uh, going inside my shoulder. Uh-oh, wait. This, <laughs> this is a family <laughs> show. Watch it now. But the, the longest snake of the world is a reticulated python. Okay. It gets to be about 30, uh, 30 feet long, 300 pounds. The heaviest snake is the anaconda. Anaconda. Anaconda, okay, all right. Good. You want to try? Why not? All right. <laughs> all right. Green bean, uh, string Thank bean. You. Nice to meet you. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow. He's heavy. Yeah. So you do the show every day? Not just three days. Three days? Okay. Yeah, wow. What do you like about snake? I don't like snakes. <laughs> <laughs> and you work here like because uh, bad. <laughs> like alligators. Oh, alligators! Oh, alligators! She's the alligator okay, person. We come All back right. to you for the alligator. Snakes yeah. right. Oh, did you ever get bit by a snake? Yes. Yeah. Where? <laughs> well, the TV that's debut. That's the recent one. <laughs> oh, that's the recent bite. Okay. Yes. And what kind of snake was this one? A king snake. Okay. Like the one Did you do anything to like make him bite you, or is it no? Just, you just decided. bit me. Okay. No reason. So, hey, hey, so hey, you like oh, it better? Dude, <laughs> help me out here. <laughs> yeah, we'll take him off. All right. Well, <laughs> while we go to the other attraction of the park, you can enjoy the next video. It was filmed here in Miami during Fashion Week, and it's about a stylist, Zara Mohammed. She won the Dubai Style Award. So take a look at the new collection.